This exhibition is called The Reforestation of the Imagination. It's a multimedia exhibit, mainly comprised of glass sculpture and augmented reality. Back in 2014, I was invited to a technology company to see their new product they're working on. It was augmented reality. It was just so phenomenal. I came home and changed my whole art practice. My practice was not digital at all. So first I had to learn how to do CGI. So I audited a class at Cornish where I met my digital collaborator, Grant Kirkpatrick. And then I was offered a artisan residency at the Museum of Glass in Tacoma. So I used that fabulous opportunity to make all the tree stumps and branches. I was told that you cannot deploy AR off of glass, which only <laughs> made it more imperative for me to do it. With AR, it's a lot of barcode technology. It's all pattern recognition. So you have to make a pattern that the camera can recognize. So that's what the trimmings are, the pattern that tells the camera you see this, you make that. Drawing has been a critical part of my art practice since day one. And I've been drawing for quite a while now. Plants that are in my mind the result of an alternative evolution. And they might, they might have been genetic combinations of various attributes or colors or functions. The objects that are deployed from the AR are iterations of those drawings. Another component of the exhibition is the taxonomy of the plants, which I named each plant. I researched the Latin word for what each plant represents are the parts of each plant and gave them all a Latin name. And then there's a description. The idea behind reforestation of the imagination is one of hope. And it reflects my adamant belief that there's always something good about to happen. It, offers a potential of regrowth within a devastated landscape. And just as I do believe the nature will reinvent itself, as does imagination, it's always there, it's always there. It's always reimagining itself. <laughs>